A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. I finally set out to make my mark, to find adventure. But instead, adventure found me. Finally, an action adventure video game that is not PlayStation exclusive. Ever since Uncharted burst into the scene in 2007, I've always wondered why there isn't a PC equivalent that's as good. Now, I'm proud to say there is one that's as good, if not better than Uncharted. This is the 10th Tomb Raider installment and the first to feature the story of the origin of Lara Croft. Lara Croft has been an iconic female character since 1996. We have come to know her as a brave adventurer looking for treasures around the globe. But we don't really know how she became what she is today. The people at Crystal Dynamics have come forward to address that issue and I must say they have done a brilliant job. It is never easy to recreate a well-known character such as Lara Croft from the ground up. With some excellent writing as well as the talent of Camilla Lagington, who is known for her role in Grey's Anatomy and Californication, Tomb Raider has brought the player closer to the character than ever before. She started off as a young archaeologist looking for the lost kingdom of Yamatai off the coast of Japan. Somehow, their ship Endurance got shipwrecked and Lara immediately had to adapt in order to survive the treacherous island and its unusual inhabitants. From the get-go, players are treated to dramatic scenes and intense action as Lara tries to escape her abductors. This is where the quick time events are eased into the gameplay, but I'm not quite sure if it's necessary. Some are bearable, but there are moments where it gets a bit excessive. Thankfully, it's not that destructive to the story. The plot sequence and character development are very well thought of. I can feel the struggles and hardship that Lara has to go through in her path to discover herself. From the moment she picked up her first weapon, the bow and arrow, up to her first skill, you can sense her spirit and confidence getting stronger and stronger. After that, it's business as usual. If you're an avid follower of the Tomb Raider franchise, you'll be surprised that there's no dual wielding handguns. Instead, you only have a handgun, a rifle, and a shotgun as your firearms which you'll discover and upgrade as you progress through the game. There are also unlockable skills that improve your combat and survival skills as you collect XP. These skills will aid you as you battle tougher and smarter enemies. So, you can't take advantage of the brilliant cover system and just hide behind a rock. Like it or not, you have to move around and mix range and melee attacks to take down the bad guys. With all the action happening around you, you tend to get sucked into the moment. This would not be possible without the amazing camera angles that adapts to the surroundings and captures some breathtaking views. From the dizzying heights of the mountain to the rundown shanty town, I can guarantee that you will be playing the whole game with your jaw on the floor. The amount of detail in the settings and even in the character itself is just awesome. Eye stimulation aside, the game also stimulates the mind with some puzzles. The puzzles are scattered around the island, mostly found while you're raiding hidden tombs. They are quite straightforward though, thanks to the survival instincts feature that will point out directions and interactive objects. By the end of the game, you'll be begging for more as the real Lara Croft emerges from the heart of the island. It is a compelling and memorable introduction to the reinvigorated Tomb Raider series. I can't wait for Lara Croft's next adventure and learn more about her as she evolves from a mild-mannered archaeologist into a true survivor. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I know some of the clips look a bit choppy. My PC is not exactly up to date. Rest assured, I'm working on a new rig. And not only that, 
I'll be sharing the entire process with you in a new video series. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe.